So let's talk about the ice slider. And we start with the command ice slider, then the slider name, and then the current value, which is the value that the slider is going to start off. Let's say 100. The resolution, let's say 10, and we'll get back to this. The minimum value, let's say 0. The maximum value, and everything is down here if you want to check it out. Let's say 1000. The info text, just going to say hello here. The commands to execute when the slider, every time that the value of the slider changes. Let's use a note. And I'm going to make this note really fast. 0.5 seconds, which is 500 milliseconds, approximately. And then after that, we have the initially disabled. So zero is enabled and slider within pixels. Just like the button and the switch. So I'm not going to use that here. We already know what that does. And let's look at these, these values here. So I'm saying 100 as the current value. So if I, if I load this here, the value is 100. You see there, 100. And you can't really see the, the 100 there. So I'm just going to, I'm going to give it a width. So I don't need to do anything in initially disabled. That means it's going to be by default enabled. And let's do it uh, 200 of width, 100 pixels. Now I can see it. And as you can see, when you hover, the, the, the value goes back to the, to the left hand side. So we start at 100. We say we have a resolution of 10. What does that mean? It means that every time I move the slider, it moves by 10 decimal points. So 80, 90, 10, every time it's 10. When I let go of the slider, my note pops up. Slider value changed. Now the minimum is zero, the maximum is a thousand, which means maximum goes up to a thousand and the minimum goes up to zero. We spoke before about using I set to set a slider. So I'm just going to use a button here to show you that. And we're going to use that button path. And that's because it's in the Z script window. We got to do this. And we got to grab that name. Place it in there. And let's set a value of 500. So this button will set my slider to 500. There we go. So the value changed. You saw the note there. And then it goes to 500. So you can set sliders with buttons like that. So I just created a nice switch to illustrate something here. And its initial value is 1. And you'll get something like this. So it's pressed as an initial value. And I get that button there. And let me just do a different switch down here and set it to zero and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you something here I, I want to use the I get command here I get and if I use the I get command inside a slider or a button or a switch it doesn't matter and I say zero it will get the control where I'm at at the moment. Let me just put this back to no time. So I'll have to press to make the note disappear. And if I say I get zero, I'll reload this. Every time my slider change, I get the the value that was set for the slider. 270 to 170. If I say I get minus one, I'll be getting the previous control and this switch is set to one. So reload every time I change this, that command will that command will trigger my note. And I get minus one is giving me the result of my switch. If I turn this switch off, it will give me zero because it's off now. If I say I get one, that's the next control, and that's gonna give me let me just reload. It's going to give me zero because it's not pressed. And if I press it, it's going to give me one. So you can use I get in this manner. And even though I used this inside the I slider, you can use this inside the I switch, I button, or inside the routine. 
I'll be talking about routines in future videos. So stay tuned, like this video, subscribe, support me on Gumroad. I'll see you in the next video.